we should begin with what is probably going to be among the, the defining issues of this council's year, and that is the Clarksburg debate. It is a debate that has raged since 1994, fundamentally, in a series of 5-4 votes as to how we should proceed with development in Clarksburg, a community that clearly does need more development, a community that has not been particularly well served, quite frankly, in, in a number of respects, a community that is concerned about its future, and we need to address those concerns. But we also have a responsibility, an environmental responsibility, with respect to Ten Mile Creek. And in 1994, when we began this conversation, we made it clear that when we get to, quote, stage four, which is where we are now, that is opening up the last parcels, potentially, of development, there was this big flashing yellow light, some would say even a red light, that said, we're going to pause and look at what we've done and whether or not we have done it in a way that adequately protects Ten Mile Creek. And if we are to proceed, we need to look at how we should proceed in a manner that protects Ten Mile Creek. And so that is really where we are again. The county executive uh, had sent over a memorandum in which he had said, in effect, Really, folks, we haven't turned to the master plan process, and if we're not going to do it by a master plan, we need to look at alternatives as to how we can make these decisions. Um, and the reality is we do need to step up and make these decisions. These are critical decisions for our community in every manner, and critical for our government to be responsible and to act. But how we act in my judgment, is as important as acting. So I feel like we've punted this decision for far too long. I was not a big fan of uh, the work study group that took place in 2009 because I felt that it was just a way of punting this issue. And sure enough, that study group didn't come to a consensus either. Uh, it was five people that said we need to do a master plan amendment and three people that said we can do it in water and sewer category changes and a couple of people saying I don't know what we're going to do. So now here we are at a place where we really do need to make a fundamental decision. The development community and the business community in Clarksburg is very concerned that if we do a master plan process that somehow that will be prejudicial to them and that uh, it could result in less development going forward, and that's not what they're in favor of. Uh, and they would prefer that we do this somehow without the planning board's involvement and whether or not we can just, quote, look at these issues uh, on a scientific basis and decide what to do. Um, I spoke with the county executive this weekend, and the county executive made clear to me that he favors a comprehensive approach to this issue. And ladies and gentlemen, there is only one comprehensive approach to these issues, and that is through the planning board. Um, so he clearly is in favor of a planning board process. Our planning board chair and colleagues are in favor of the planning board process. Uh, our staff is strongly in favor of the planning board process. It needs to be an expedited process. Um, but it is something that the county executive, our planning board chair, our Department of Environmental Protection, our DPS, our staff all have said is the right way to go. I say all that to you. I don't know what my colleagues will decide. There is a strong uh, split with respect to this. Could be another one of those 5 4 votes. So now I will speak as an individual council member and as chair of the committee and in charge of, if you will, environment or lead responsibility for the environment, um, I feel strongly that it must be through the planning board process. Um, that to decide in advance that we're not going to change our land use in any way, shape, or form in that area seems to me to be inappropriate. You can't make that decision in advance. You do need to look at the science. But the science could lead you to a conclusion that says what we have, what we have allowed in terms of density or in our zones, we need to rethink. 
20 years later based on the experience that we have with 10 Mile Creek and what development does. On the other hand, we have new standards for protecting creeks that have come into place, both at the state level and that those standards need to be taken into account. I want this to be a science-driven decision, and I want on the table the opportunity to assess whether or not we need to make any tweaks or modifications to our land use decisions because this is fundamentally about land use. It is about protecting Ten Mile Creek, but we're talking about moving a lot of earth around. Anytime you move a lot of earth around, you're going to have an effect on very fragile streams. Ten Mile Creek is among our most fragile stream. Uh, I have shared with uh, others that uh, I'm a fly fisherman. Yeah. Um, trout only live in the most pristine streams. They are such a wonderful marker of how a stream is in terms of its health. If there's a brown trout in a stream, you know it is a pure place to be. There are brown trout in that 10 mile creek. And from my perspective, that's something worth protecting, not because of the fish, but because of what it bespeaks in terms of the purity of that environment. Now, we can make a different decision and say that we don't really care whether or not 10 mile creek is pure or not. And that's, that's something that people can make a decision with respect to. <coughs> so uh, our staff has done a memorandum that will be made available to you that lays out, and I believe, a very compelling way why it is that deciding this through the prism of land use is the most appropriate way to go. And I will be supporting our staff and our planning board chair and our county executive in that pursuit. Thank you.